A great coach can inspire, provide vision, and guidance. And for many Bay Area athletes, especially those who've played at the College of San Mateo, Tom Martinez has been that inspiration for a variety of sports, football, women's basketball, and softball. From the time I got there, basically until almost at the end, I was coaching three sports. Uh, and actually, I was one of, I was probably the only person in the state of California that was a head coach in three different sports at the same time. Um, and then coaching men and women at the same time. Um, so it, it, was, uh, it was obviously a full-time commitment. Martinez coached at the College of San Mateo from the mid-70s to 2007. And for a three-year period of time in the late 70s, the women's basketball team won three consecutive Northern California championships with a combined 94-4 and record. You know, I never felt like I wanted to ever cheat the women. And so I gave them the same energy and... and uh, and uh, notoriety that I tried to give the, the guys. All told, with basketball, football, and softball combined, he's the winningest coach in the history of California community colleges. I think the most remarkable part of it was of all the teams that I coached, women's softball, women's basketball, and football, uh, no player that ever played for me as, that was uh, while I was a head coach ever had a losing season. So we didn't, uh, we didn't win in one sport and, you know, put in the time in the other. We won in all three of them. And um, again, to the extent of 1,400 career wins. He's perhaps best known in his coaching career for working with quarterbacks, namely NFL MVP and San Mateo native Tom Brady of the New England Patriots. And Martinez has a unique teaching tool involving the telephone. I basically gave a quarter to the guys that I work with and I said, I said, if you need help, if you have any information that's lacking in what we went through, and you may not be even aware of that till you start to do it. Um, give me a call, and here's the quarter, and I will never call you. You have to call me. You know, Tom Brady calls all the time, you know, and, you know, as a matter of fact, they called last week, and I worked with him for two days um, in Boston, and so uh, he calls. Now the coach is getting calls, letters, emails, and an outpouring of emotion from many of the people whose lives he's touched as he battles life-threatening kidney and heart conditions. I'm on dialysis, so I was, you know, I was trying to get find a kidney uh, so I could do a, a, you know, a kidney transplant, and I had, I had unbelievable people just say, hey, you know, you've done great for others, and if we can help you, if I can help you, I'm more than willing to, and so the outpouring of affection and the letters that were received from the players uh, was, was very emotional and touching to both myself, our family, and, and our, you know, our daughters and, and sons. So uh, with that, um, you know, uh, I went from there to the point that obviously I'm still here. And so when people say, how, do you, how are you? I'm obviously better than the day that they gave me a week to live. On the other hand, it's an, I, you know, I just want to say it's, it's an ongoing challenge and uh, every day is a new day and there's, you know, there's times where, as somebody said one time, you know, you go to sleep at night and you're not sure you're going to wake up the next day. So there's a certain amount of seriousness to it. I, I always told the athletes I coached that never quit, fight, no matter what the odds are, no matter what the circumstances are that you're in, the battle you're in, you got to win it. And so that led to their, their attitudes about the way they went about playing. And it's, it's, I now they're telling me all the time, Coach Fight, you know, you told us to never quit, and now you can't. So that's a motivation in and of itself to, you know, practice what you preach.